gifts are extraordinary and they do for once convey something of the person because there is no blandness to Queen T. You look at her and you think, ooh, she really was something else, this one. Queen T was not an easy queen. She was so strong and you can see that from the statues of this queen, how she was equal to the king in size. Queen T was more than just a chief queen. She was Amenhotep's near equal. Far down the Nile in Nubia, Amenhotep made this stunningly clear by building a pair of temples, one for Queen T and one nearby for himself, here at Soleb. These temples were not just built for the royal couple, they were actually dedicated to them. Deep in the southern part of his empire, Amenhotep and T were worshipped as gods. The shadow of Pharaoh extends in stone along the Nile to the African provinces of his empire. He is there in a physical presence looking out over the empire that he controls. Amenhotep's message to his Nubian subjects was clear. At the base of the columns at Soleb are images of captive Nubians, a graphic representation of Pharaoh's power for all to see. Here in Nubia, it was especially important that Amenhotep was in control. Nubia's mines supplied most of Egypt's gold. 